The Webley Typhoon was arguably one of the worst things to come out of a Webley factory in quite some time. Now this is coming from someone who owns the Webley Blackhawk, which you can see there, and that's broken. Typhoon itself is big and bulky. It was cheap, that was its only saving grace. It was a brick barreled air pistol, as I said, it was really heavy and bulky. It was underpowered, the safety dug into your finger. The pistol grip was tiny. It wasn't looking too good, but even then, I did relatively enjoy it, just as a cheap plinking pistol. It simply got the job done, didn't let me down. And you know, that was that really. Then I bought the um, Crossman Rat Catcher sometime later, which is a little carbine air rifle. And I realised the Typhoon is actually weaker and heavier than this full length like, carbine rifle. I had me thinking, you know, the Typhoon's kind of lost here. You know, it needs a better purpose, so I thought, you know, maybe try and upgrade it a bit, try and jazz it out, see if I can make something a little unique and different. And this is where this comes in. Obviously, it still looks like a base Webley Typhoon with loads of tap thrown on it. It's still got the stock, um, what do you call it, cocking assist on the barrel. It's got a um, added on scope and laser system, which are completely overkill and unnecessary, but the cool to have on anyway. And then, of course, you've got this makeshift stock system. Now the stock itself, believe it or not, simply just slides on as so, that's it. Now that's solid, it's not going anywhere, obviously you can put it on a little bit better so it doesn't look wonky. But to actually attach the stock, it's really easy to do. All you need to do, you undo the two screws on each side here, then there's one screw, get it on camera, on the back there. This separates the bottom pistol grip from the entire upper receiver, and once you pull that out, There'll just be a little um, pla the plastic sight here, which is absolutely rubbish. That just slides off, chuck it away in the bin, never use it again. Now, for when you're putting the stock on, all you need to do is you need to file down a little bit of the plastic here because it protrudes up in the way of the plastic um, spring stopper, whatever you call it. Now, for actually fitting the stock, all I used was a cheap Airsoft M4 stock. You can get for about £2.50, obviously, exaggerate. You can get them cheap and a bit of copper pipe. I don't know the exact circumference of the pipe, but it's just slightly smaller than the circumference of this plastic nub on the end. Now when I got the pipe, all you do, you just expand it out a little bit, you know, maybe with a little bit of heat, or you shove a screwdriver in, and it just expands it out, so it ever so slightly fits over this plastic end cap here. Squeeze it on like that, and you're sorted, solid. Okay, talking about the accessories, the scope and the laser sight, they had to be mounted on aftermarket 11mm to 20mm rail converter because the Typhoon comes at a stock 11mm rail, I don't know if you can see it, probably not. It's not too good because it's integrated into the top end, the um, upper receiver I'll just call it for the time being, and it's not really modular. You know, there's not as many 11mm mounted accessories as there are 20mm. So with that in mind, Got the 20mm rail installed. Got the scope on top it had to specif specifically be this scope. I oh, got a trap win there. But it had to be this scope because the laser is mounted on a cantered um, rail system. As you can see, I have to take the stock off. It's a cantered system so it doesn't interfere or get in the way. Or so we don't have to have a big massive long rail which would look silly. Now I had to actually screw the cantered system into the... Um, 20 millimeter rail so it doesn't wobble about or fall off. Now, it is a bit overkill, but it's unique and it does get the job done. Turn the scope on, I doubt you'll be able to see it, but you know, it's a fun little system to use and the laser's fun for you know taking pot shots of tin cans. And overall, it does help give the Typhoon a little bit of a purpose as a carbine. Now, it does have an adjustable stock as well, I forgot to mention that. All you do, you drill some holes in the copper pipe and just put a screw in up top, screw it in, you're sorted. Now this isn't extended all the way out, just for the purpose of the video, but um, you know, it's fun to shoulder. You know, um, it's, it's actually pretty amusing to use, I mean the brake operation still works fine. You know, it doesn't really pamper the performance of the air pistol at all. Now there are a couple of modifications I still need to make to this, I still want to sort the trigger out because it's got a horrible plastic trigger. It's, really mushy, you know, the trigger needs lubricating, maybe um, even polish the sears up and all that, the, um, what you call it, the cocking assist, I think that needs to go as well, maybe replace it with a mod, 